Hi, Sam Bostein here with an introduction to using quantization in machine. Some producers use a lot of quantization. They put everything right on beat, perfectly quantized, while others use none at all for fear that it'll mess up their grooves, that it'll take all the life out of them. Somewhere in between is the right workflow that will help you make beats a lot faster and make them much, much more tight. I've loaded up this 808 kick here just to demonstrate how I can use quantization on a pattern I've played into machine. I'm going to try to play very sloppily so that it should be very easy to see and hear my mistakes and how I can correct them using quantization. So we can hear how that's really not groovy. It's uh, way off of the grid here. And all we have to do is hit quantize on our controller to have it snap to the grid. Now, maybe we really didn't like it quantized. Luckily, machine saves all this undo history so that your performance is not lost when if you hit quantize. All you have to do is hit undo, which has a dedicated button on the machine studio and can be accessed on the older machine hardware, or the machine mark II, by pressing shift and then the first pad. Now we're right back to what we had before, and can try splitting the difference. All you have to do is press shift and then quantize, and then it quantizes 50%. Let's hear that. Sometimes that can be the perfect split between a perfectly lock groove quantized kind of thing and a very free live performance. But for this demonstration I'm going to hit quantize again to have it all snap to the grid so I can demonstrate use of quantization with swing. Once things are perfectly on the grid machine can apply swing to them. So I'm going to play with the swing on this 808 kick so we can hear some of that in play. So maybe a possibility for some good grooves live in there. Uh, I talked about swing last week, and we'll continue to talk about swing and quantization in the future. So check out the description below for a link, and make sure to subscribe to ADSR Tutorials on YouTube to catch all of it. When you press quantize, machine snaps the notes to this grid down here. If we press undo to get our original performance, and then turn this off just by toggling it, we will hear that quantization will have no effect. So I'm going to hit the quantization button a few times, and nothing happens because the grid is turned off. Try not to get confused. There's another grid setting up here, but this does not affect the quantization settings. We have a number of different options for grids down here. Uh, the most likely one you might be using is 1 16th, but 1 32nd can be useful if you're playing 32nd notes. Let's try that now. So, if I were to have the 16 grid on and hit quantize, it would only snap them to 16th notes. And so, while that's not horrible or anything, that's definitely not what I played. I maybe played closer to a triplet, something like that. So if we turn the grid up to 1 32nd and hit quantize, we should get a much, much closer approximation of what I played. Let's select one more grid value just to see if we can come closer to what I was going for when I played that little snare fill. There's a setting in between 132nd and 116th, which is 16th triplets. If I hit quantize now, those three hits snapped to these grid lines.
And we were able to get this performance using quantization that would never have been possible if we were limited to just a 16th note grid. You can access all these different grids from your controller by pressing grid and turn it off like we did before by selecting off as the grid value. You don't have to turn it explicitly back on, all you have to do is select another grid value other than off. Next time I talk about groove and quantization, we'll be using these different grid values to make different polyrhythms with machine's step sequencer. Before I sign off though, I'd like to do another sloppy performance and fix it with quantization, just to demonstrate the immense capabilities that machine has for it.